Hello students, in this video I would like to discuss about binomial heaps. So first of all we have to discuss what is binomial trees. So a binomial tree BK is an ordered tree defined recursively. Binomial tree B0 consists of one node. Binomial tree BK consists of two raised to K nodes. Binomial tree BK consists of two binomial trees BK-1 are linked together. The root of one is the leftmost child of the root of the other. So I will try to explain binomial tree with the help of an example. So at the first point, binomial tree B0 consists of one node. Here I have a binomial tree which is B0 which contain only one node. Look at the third point. Binomial tree BK consists of two binomial trees B of K-1 are linked together. So here I have a binomial tree called BK which contain two binomial trees of K-1. So two BK-1 trees are there. When I link those trees together, I will get a BK tree. One more point is there. The root of one is the leftmost child of the root of the other. So here root of this BK-1, root of this BK-1 is the leftmost child of this BK minus 1 tree. Here I have 2 BK minus 1 tree. This BK minus 1 tree is the leftmost child of another BK minus 1 tree. When we link these two BK minus 1 trees, you will get a BK tree. So one more point is there. Binomial tree BK consists of 2 raised to K nodes. So B0 means 2 raised to 0 that contain 1 node. B1 means 2 raised to 1 which contain 2 nodes. So based on this definition what is B1? B1 contains 2 B0 trees. B1 contain 2 B0 trees. Similarly what is B2? B2 contain how many nodes? 4 nodes. B2 contain 2 B1 trees. So these 2 nodes form a B1 tree, these two nodes form a B1 tree. If the root of this B1 tree is the leftmost child of root of this B1 tree. Next is B3 tree. B3 tree contain 2 raised to 3 nodes, that is 8 nodes. This entire tree contain 8 nodes. And based on this definition, B3 tree contain 2 B2 trees. These four nodes form a B2 tree, these four nodes form a B2 tree and, and also these four nodes form a B2 tree. Root of this B2 tree is the leftmost child of this B2 tree. Similarly, I have B4 tree also. B4 tree will contain 16 nodes and it contain 2 B3 trees. So, one more concept is there. Depth. Root of the tree is always at depth 0. Next level it is depth 1, next it is 2, 3, 4 and so on. So you look at the third diagram. Here I have a root node and in this root node some BK trees are connected, some binomial trees are connected. So if I have a binomial tree of order K, then it is a collection of BK-1, BK-2, B, then up to B2, B1 and B0 connected to a root node. So again come back to this diagram. Consider this as a root node. This entire tree is a B3 tree. That is B4 minus 1. This entire tree is B4. So this is B3. That is B4 minus 1. This is B2. That is B4 minus 2. This is B1. That is B4 minus 3. This, this node alone forms a B0 tree. So B3, B2, B1 and B0 trees are connected in a root node together form a BK tree. So this is another form of the definition of binomial tree. So the figure A represent a cursed definition of the binomial tree B. Figure B represent binomial trees B0 to B4. Figure C gives another perspective of binomial tree BK. Next is the properties of binomial trees. 
for the binomial tree bk there are two raised to k nodes in the binomial tree b0 we have two raised to zero nodes that is one node in the binomial tree b3 we have eight nodes similarly in a binomial tree b4 we have 16 nodes the height of the tree is k here the k value is zero and height of the tree is zero here k value is one height of the tree is one here k value is 2, height of the tree is 2, longest possible path from the root. Similarly here, k value is 3, height of the tree is 3, 1, 2, 3. Here k value is 4, height of the tree is 4. Next property is there are exactly k c i nodes at depth i for i equal to 0, 1, 2, up to k. So you can check this property. In depth 0, how many nodes are there? One node is there. In this tree, at depth 0, we have only one node. What is the value of k? 4. 4c0 four is 1. Similarly, 4c1 is 4. 4c2 four is 6. 4c3 four is 4. 4c4 four four is 1. So you can check this property with the help of this example. Next point is the root of bk has degree k which is greater than any other node. So the root node has the highest degree. So again I am taking this example. This is the root node. What is the degree of that root node? It has 4 children. So degree is 4. So always root node of the binomial tree have the highest degree. So here it is b4. So the root node has the degree 4. Next point, the maximum degree of any node in an n node binomial tree is log n. So who have the maximum degree? Root has the maximum degree. And what will be the value of that degree? It will be log n, where n is the number of nodes. Here I have total of 16 nodes. Log 16 is 4. That means the degree of root node is log n where n is the number of nodes next we are going to discuss about binomial heaps a binomial heap h is set of binomial trees that satisfies the following properties each binomial tree in h obeys the min heap property that is the key of a node is greater than or equal to the key of its parent we say that each such tree is min heap ordered in the previous semester, we, all, we already studied about min heap. The same property is applicable here. Next point, for any non-negative integer k, there is at most one binomial tree in H whose root has degree k. Next point, n node binomial tree H consists of at most floor of log n plus one binomial trees. I will try to explain the concept of binomial heap with the help of an example. A binomial heap is a set of binomial trees which has to follow some properties. So here in this, this example we have three binomial trees. This is B0, this is B2 and this is B3. So each binomial tree follows min heap property. That means the parent node have lesser value than the child node. Here one is the parent. 12 is the child, 1 has the lesser value. Here 8 is the child, 12 is the parent, 12 has the lesser value. Here 25 is the child, 1 is the parent, 1 have the lesser value. That means binomial heap is a collection of binomial trees in which each tree follows min heap property. Next point, for any non-negative integer k, there is at most one binomial tree in H whose root has degree k. Here we have a binomial tree, the root has the degree 0. Here I have another binomial tree whose degree is 2. Here I have another binomial tree whose the degree of its root is 3. I already told you binomial heap is a collection of binomial trees and the order of these binomial trees are distinct. That means in the same binomial heap we can't have two B0 trees or two b1 trees or two b2 trees so it's a collection of distinct ordered binomial trees in which 
each tree follows min heap property. Next is n node binomial heap consists of at most floor of log n plus 1 binomial trees. So if a binomial heap contain n nodes then maximum binomial trees possible is floor of log n plus 1. In this example how many nodes are there? 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 8 is 13. What is log 13? Log 13 is anyway below 4. So floor of some value below 4 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. That means the maximum number of possible binomial trees is 4. Here we have only 3 binomial trees. You just imagine I have one more binomial tree here B1. That means here you just imagine I have B1 tree. Then it will have a maximum of how many elements? 13 plus 2 is 15. Again log 15 is 3 point something. Floor of that value is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So 3 plus 1 is 4. In that case we here we have 4 binomial trees. One more point is there. As in the figure, the root of binomial trees within a binomial heap are organized in a linked list which is referred as root list. So 10 is the root node of a B0 binomial tree. 1 is the root of one B2 binomial tree. Similarly, 6 is the root of one B3 binomial tree. Here in binomial heap, the root of binomial trees are organized in a linked list and that is referred as root list. Next is representing binomial heaps in memory. Each node x in a binomial heap have following field. T contains data. P contain pointer to x parent. Child contain pointer to leftmost child of x. Sibling of x points to sibling of x immediately to its right. Degree of x contains number of children. We will try to explain I will try to explain this with the help of an example. You just consider this node 12. What is the key value? Key value is 12. Who is the parent of 12? 1. So P contains address of this node. Address of its parent node. What is degree? Degree means number of children of 12. 12 have only 1 children. So the value is 1. 18 is the child of 12. So this field contain address of this node. Child field contain address of this node. This arrow denotes child fields point to child node. Similarly, this is corresponds to node 1 whose degree is 2 because it have 2 children. And who is the leftmost child of 1? 12 is the leftmost child of 1. So this child pointer contain child pointer contain leftmost child of 1. Leftmost child of 1 is told. One more point. Here who is the sibling of told? Sibling of told is 25. So sibling of x points to sibling of x immediately to its right. 25 is the sibling of told and also it is towards immediate right. So this sibling field contain address of this node. So every node will contain these fields. Since these root nodes didn't have any parents, that parent field will be null. And this didn't have any left child, so that will be null. The degree of this node is 0 because it didn't have any children. Some more points are there. If x has no children, child of x is nil. Here, 10 didn't have any children, so child field is filled with nil. If x is the rightmost child of its parent, then sibling of x is nil. Take this example. 29 is the rightmost child of 6. Then sibling of x will be nil. Sibling, sibling of x. This field is nil. If x is a root, p of x is nil. Here 6 is the root. This p field is nil. That first field is nil. If x is a root, then sibling of x points to next to root in the root list. In the previous slide, we already discussed about root list. So, if x is a root, here 10 is a root, then its sibling field points to next to root in the root list. 
who is the next root in the root list one is the next root in the root list sibling of 10 will contain address of node 1 sibling of 10 points to this node if x is the last root in the root list sibling of x equal to nil so here 6 is the last node in the root list there the sibling of x is stored as nil and all pointer value will be stored there a given binomial heap h is accessed by the field head of h which is simply a pointer to the first root list of h so here in our example our root list contains three elements 10 1 and 6 a special pointer called head which will be pointing to first element in the root list so that is very similar to our start pointer in the link list so the only thing we know about a link list is start pointer similarly only thing we know about binomial heap is the head pointer if binomial heap h has no element then head of h equal to nil so if we have an empty binomial heap then the head value will be nil so for easy understanding i just written the class node class node represent nodes in binomial heap we already studied it contain five fields key will be of integer type P is a parent, it is an another node. Child is child of the node, it is also another node. Sibling is also a type node because it is also another node. Degree is an integer because it contains number of children. That's all I want to share in this video. Thank you.